Welcome to 5 Games 5 Minutes from aconelectron.co.uk. Saigon is a blasting game with something of the feel of the old arcade machines. You are a um, rumble, a top US crack commando who must single handedly penetrate the Viet Cong stronghold, shoot or blow up everything, release the hostages, and clear each level. If you approach with all guns blazing, the Viet Cong often shoot each other as they try to retaliate. This is particularly satisfying to watch. When you make it to the large gates at the end of the level, you also have to bust quite a few action hero style moves, which is also a lot of fun. Or at least, it's fun for the first three levels or so. When you're killed, you're reincarnated where you fell, and any of those soldiers you carefully picked off come back to life. Which basically means you can be reincarnated in the middle of a Mexican standoff where everyone is already firing. Over and over and over. Saigon is a one of a kind game for the Electron. There's nothing else like it, and it's colourful, fast, and despite its flaws, quite addictive. Avoue la France translates roughly to France for you, and the package contains 39 programs in total, spread over three discs. For its day, this was mammoth, and the package cost a staggering £30. For that sort of money, you'd be expecting quality, and to be fair, you do get it. Firstly, everything's simple to understand and all the instructions are displayed on screen. Secondly, the programs themselves are correctly targeted. There are standard exercise book replacement utilities, like filling in the missing French article, and there are variants teaching word collocations, such as Bandit and Story Threader. As you might expect, you have sections devoted to telling the time and French culture. You also have more advanced games like Mugger, a sort of French version of Cluedo. All of them are presented in a very consistent manner. Of course, you could pick fault with the fact that, once the programs start, there really is too much help written in English to really allow the user to feel immersed in the French language. There are a number of other French tutor programs, but this really is the gold standard. Chucky Egg is an infinitely rolling platform game. You're Hen House Harry. On each screen of the game, you need to grab a dozen eggs and avoid anything that moves. On the first eight screens, that means avoiding patrolling birds, which, truth be told, isn't too difficult. However, once you reach level 9, the game does the metaphorical equivalent of a magic trick. The patrolling birds disappear, and instead you get some crossbreed of duck and surface-to-air homing missile on your tail. The game is like a whirlwind of power. You can run left, right, and climb and descend ladders. You can also jump both over gaps and on and off conveyors. As soon as the duck is released, then the most important thing is to keep moving at all costs. Stand still for a few seconds and you'll soon see why. The screens are cleverly designed so that although they repeat, the raised difficulty level means that they have to be completed in different ways. At level 17, the game ups the ante again, giving both birds and duck. Chucky Egg is timeless, and probably always will be. Play it today. Ultron's instructions openly give the nod to the game Golf by Dr. Soft and so you might be expecting it to be a clone of this classic game. However, it's not. Ultron is a shoot 'em up game with four levels. On each of them, the attack patterns are different. The first level presents a sort of snake of bouncing aliens. The second presents a horde of quickly descending bulls that need to be wiped out double quick. The third level, the aliens emerge from the centre of the screen and, with a bit of practice, they can be picked off before they grow up and do any real damage. Finally, you get the Mothership, where you must blast holes in the exterior and aim for the small alien controlling it. Because the defences rotate, you need to destroy a fair amount of them before a bullet will actually hit the target. Throughout it all, you're dodging hills of bullets. Whether or not you find Ultron any good really depends on whether or not you like shoot 'em up games per se. It's not a bad game, but it's not an exceptional one either. Wizzy's Mansion features the familiar premise of coming a rather large house for magical objects. In this game, it's the pages of Wizzy's spellbook, all scattered lubrily around in difficult to reach places. Each room you enter has a name, ranging from the sensible Spike's Bedroom, to the odd Next Stop Camel Kind, and the more explicit Dollman's Bum Chum. You can walk left and right, and jump from one platform to another to get closer to those missing pages, and a helpful tally on screen keeps you updated with how many you've found so far. Wizzy's mansion seems a little rough around the edges. When you walk into a room, you sometimes push straight back out again, and then you find you can only get in by jumping into the room. The trouble is that often when jumping, you'll jump straight into danger. 
Sprite movement is also clunky, and running under some of the bouncing nasties is pure luck rather than skill. There's a large number of reachable screens, and you can learn a route through them, but just to give you fair warning, I have heard rumours that this game is actually not completable, 